A teacher from Michael Crop Senior High School is in jail and out of a job. Police say they found him and a female student partially clothed inside of an Airbnb. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in Fort Lauderdale with the details. Carrie. Well, Rudy Van Elliott, that teacher's name is Diego Guzman Carranza, and he faces one count of lewd and lascivious, committing a lewd and lascivious act on a minor. He's being held in jail at this hour on a bond of $50,000. He's accused of having sex with a 14 year old student of his. Take a look. This is Carranza's mugshot. Wilton Manor's police say Carranza was arrested on Thursday. They say he is a biology teacher at Dr. Michael Crop High School. They tell us that he was in an Airbnb apartment with that 14 year old student. The student told police the pair did have sex on Thursday and that they've been in an ongoing sexual relationship. Garanta appeared in Bond Court in Broward today. And we've also learned from police that the teen victim told investigators that she and Carranza spoke in the past about how their relationship was illegal because of their age difference and because Carranza is her teacher. Now, we reached out to Miami Dade schools to try to get their thoughts on this. A spokesperson told us this afternoon, quote, the allegations against this employee are despicable. The district goes to great lengths to ensure employees are guided by ethical and moral standards, especially where students are concerned. Any action running contrary to the values we promote and practice will be dealt with in the swiftest manner. The process to terminate his employment is already underway. Now, Wilton Manor's police tell us that Carranza lawyered up. He did not speak with investigators after he was arrested yesterday. Wilton Manor's police say there's a chance, they're concerned that there might be other victims out there or certainly other information about Carranza. They want anyone with information to contact the Wilton Manor's police, Miami-Dade police, or Miami-Dade school police. Live in Fort Lauderdale, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News.